The Mahdi is not only an embodiment of the Islamic belief, but he is also the symbol of an aspiration cherished by mankind of its divergent religious doctrines. He is also the crystallization of an instructive inspiration through which all people, regardless of their religious affiliations, have learned to evade a day when heavenly mission with all their implications, will achieve their final goals. And the tiring march of humanity across history will culminate satisfactorily in peace and tranquility. This consciousness of the expected future has not been confined to those who believe in the supernatural phenomena, but has also been reflected in the ideologies and cults which totally deny the existence of what is imperceptible. For example, dialectical materialism, which interprets history on the basis of contradictions, believe that a day will come when all contradictions will disappear and complete peace and tranquility will prevail. Thus, we find that this consciousness, experienced throughout history, is one of the widest the communist psychological experience of humanity. The religion, when it endorses this common consciousness and stresses that, in the long run, this world will be filled with justice and equity after having been filled with injustice and oppression, gives it a factual value and converts it into a definite belief in the future course of humanity. 
This belief is not merely a source of consolation, but it is also a source of virtue and strength. It is a source of virtue because the belief in the Mahdi means the total elimination of injustice and oppression prevailing in the world. It is a source of inexhaustible strength because it provides hope which enables man to resist frustration. Howsoever hopeless and dismal the circumstances may be, the belief in the appointed day proves that it is possible for the forces of justice to face the world filled with injustice and oppression, to prevail upon the forces of injustice and to reconstruct the world order. After all prevalence of injustice, howsoever dominant and extensive it may become, is an abnormal state and must be eliminated in the long run. The prospect of its elimination after reaching its climax infuses a great hope in every persecuted individual and every oppressed nation that it is still possible to change the state of affairs. Although the concept of the Mahdi is more widespread than the Muslim community, yet its detailed features, as determined by Islam, meet more fully all the aspirations attached to it since the dawn of history. They are in greater conformity with the feelings and sentiments of the oppressed and the persecuted of all times. It is Islam which has given a concrete shape to an abstract idea. It is no longer necessary to look forward to an unknown savior who may come into the world at a distant future. The savior is already here and we simply have to look forward to the day when the circumstances arrive for him to appear and begin his great mission.